Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up automatic assignment rules so that you can automatically route leads or deals to different users or teams in your pipe drive account. This is great, for example, if you have different salespeople or teams in different regions. Maybe I want deals in New Zealand to come to me and deals in the United States to go to a different person or team. Or maybe I want deals of a certain type or above a certain value to go to my top salesperson. Using automatic assignment rules, I can save time by automatically assigning that lead or deal to the most appropriate salesperson on my team so that the best person can respond right away. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like one-on-one -on -one help with setting up or getting more out of Pipedrive, or maybe automating more of your sales process, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. Now, I do want to point out that in order to use this feature, you will require the Pipedrive professional subscription for your team. The automatic assignment feature you can find down here, this is available to professional, power, and enterprise plans. Now, to create your first automatic assignment rule, click on your profile and go to Tools and Apps. And then you should see the automatic assignment feature here if you are an admin of the account. Now from here, we can add our first rules by clicking Add Rule. And you wanna have a think about what rules to create. You can create a rule where if a deal is added to Pipedrive, we can automatically assign that new deal to a particular person. Or if a deal is updated, Maybe if I move the deal to a certain stage, once it's been qualified, I could then assign the deal to somebody on my team. Alternatively, we can set up automatic assignment rules for new leads that are created in the account. For this demo, I'm gonna use the deal added uh, trigger. So we're gonna click next. And on this stage, this is where I can define and set up the logic that determines how my deals get routed to the correct person. So for example, I can use any custom field data in my account. For example, I've got the organization address that I could use. And this would be a good example if I want to assign deals based on the state or country or region. So I'm gonna say here, if the organization address country is, and then I'm gonna say New Zealand, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign the deal to either a specific user on my team. Maybe I assign this to Liam, who's my New Zealand sales rep. I also have the option to assign the deal to a team. So another professional feature that you have access to is you can create teams for different groups of salespeople in your organization. So if I say, let's assign this to the Auckland team, Pipedrive is then going to randomly round robin assign this deal to the next person on that team. So it, it optimizes for even distribution. And I also have the option to assign the deal to whoever the organization or person owner is. So maybe uh, a user in my account they might be the organization owner for that customer for that account already. And so any new deal I create, I want to just assign to that organization or person owner, and I can specify that here. Uh, but for this example, I'm just gonna leave this as user, and I'm just gonna say, if it's a New Zealand lead, or deal rather, assign this to Liam. And then finally on this step, I'm just gonna give my rule a name, and I can put in a description, and I can set it to active and click save. So I'm gonna pause the video here, but now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set up the opposite rule for the United States. So here's the other rule set up now. If I briefly just show you how this is set up, I've used the same criteria, organization address country, but this time I've said is the United States. And I've said if the deal is in this country, assign the deal to, the, to Lindsay Amoroso, this user on my team. So now let me show you the two rules in practice and let's do a quick test. So I'm gonna click the plus button and I'm gonna add a new deal. And let's just put in a test contact. So let's just do James Smith, someone brand new. So I'm setting up a brand new contact. I also need to add a comp an organization. So let's just do James's company. So I'm creating a brand new organization here. And down here, I can populate the organization address and I've, I've customized my custom field settings so that I get prompted to fill this in when I create the deal. And if you want to learn more about customizing fields, you can click the video up here to learn more about uh, setting up your custom fields. So let's just do um, a quick example. Let's do 10 Browns Bay Road. And this is an address in New Zealand. 
So in theory, when I create this deal, this should automatically assign to Liam. So let's have a look. Great, so I can see the owner up here has been set to Liam, and I can actually see down here in the change log, um, or under all, I can see the owner was changed from Paul. I was the owner by default because I created the deal, but it was changed to Liam because my automatic assignment rule reassigned the deal. Now, something to be aware of when setting up your rules is that Pipedrive is gonna check each rule based on the priority that the rules are set up in on this page. So when a new deal is created, Pipedrive is gonna check if it matches the conditions in this rule first. So in this case, it's gonna look at, is the deal organization address New Zealand? If so, assign the deal to Liam. Then if it doesn't match that rule, it's gonna to go to the next rule. And so you wanna have a think about and set the priority of your rules. If you want certain rules to happen in a certain order or certain conditions to be satisfied first, make sure you get your rules set up in the correct order. Now let me show you one more example to just give you an idea of uh, different logic or different ways that you can trigger your rules. So I've, I've already got my two deal created rules and I've gone ahead and set up a rule which runs when a deal is updated. Now in this rule, I've said when the deal is moved to the needs defined stage of my sales pipeline, moving the deal into that stage is gonna trigger the rule and then I've set up a couple of other conditions here. So I've said if the deal type, and deal type, this is one of my custom fields. So if this is a consulting deal, um, I want to route it to a particular person. And I've said if the deal value is more than or equal to 10,000, I want both of those conditions to be met. So I've said this is an and condition. So both it needs to be a consulting deal and it needs to be more than 10,000. I could set this to be an or condition, so either of these conditions can be met, but I would like both conditions to be met. And so I can say, right, when it's moved to that stage, if the deal matches these two criteria, assign this to me, Paul. And so this is an example of something a little bit more complex. I want to get the, the best deal sent to me, or I want to route them to my top salesperson if it's more than a certain value, that kind of thing. So that is a look at how to set up automatic assignment rules in Pipedrive. Clients we've been working with have been requesting this feature for a while, so it's great that we've got this feature and capability now, where previously we would have to use third-party software like Zapier or Make to do this. We can now build this logic straight into Pipedrive. As I said, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to see when I post new Pipedrive training videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.